how do you determine if a tendon tear is classified as a split tear? A split tear runs along the long axis of the tendon parallel to the direction of the tendon fibers. It is called a split tear because it's a separation in the tendon. A split tear is usually the first type of tear to occur within a tendon before the substance of the tendon is affected. It occurs within the extracellular matrix of a tendon, which is the space located between the tertiary fiber bundles that form a tendon. It is comprised primarily of collagen and functions to bind and organize the multiple tertiary bundles together. The extracellular matrix is the weakest part of the tendon. It is the first to fail when there is increased pressure upon it. When the tertiary bundles are spared from tearing, they are still intact and there will be no weakening of the tendon or loss of function. On ultrasound, a split tear is visualized as a hypoechoic or anechoic cleft running through the tendon. A longitudinal split tear will be visualized extending from the top to the bottom of the tendon on the short axis views, whereas a horizontal split tear is visualized extending from the left to the right on the short axis views. It is considered full thickness when the split extends entirely from one surface of the tendon to another. It's easier to visualize a split tear in the short axis first and then turn the transducer 90 degrees to elongate the tear and better visualize it in the long axis. It is not unusual for the split to not be seen in the long axis because it blends in too much. Split tears commonly occur in tendons such as the perineal tendons in the lateral ankle, the extensor carpal narus tendon in the wrist, the long head biceps tendon in the shoulder, and several others, but those seem to be the most common. I already showed some examples of a split tear in the ECU and FCR tendons in the wrist, and this is an example of a split tear in a biceps tendon in the shoulder. And as I mentioned earlier, a tear is considered full thickness when the split extends entirely from one surface to another. This is an example of a full thickness versus a partial thickness split. The next example is of the perineus brevis tendon in the lateral ankle. The first example shows just your standard longitudinal split like the other examples I've been showing, but I wanted to show another thing that could happen with this tendon. It can actually form a C shape around the adjacent perineus longus tendon in the short axis. So as you could see with the arrows, the brevis is forming a C shape around the longus. And then in the long axis picture, you actually see the brevis tendon surrounded by the longus tendon on the outside in the image. Just wanted to let you know that that can occur too. Hope this helps.